If there was an easier way to sell clip art, what would that look like to you? Well, in today's video, we are going to go over how to unzip and zip files so you can be able to download your files inside of a Google Drive and deliver them to your customer seamlessly so that they're able to get their digital files with no problem. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into canva.com, wherever your designs are. I design primarily inside of Canva. So as you can see, here is where all my designs are. Now, these are watercolor tutu clip art designs that can be used for invitations, scrapbooking, all types of different things. So I have about 25 files that I want to package and put together so that when my customer receives the files they're able to easily download it so now that i'm in canva i'm gonna go ahead and click share when i click share i am going to go to download now if you have extra images inside of your canva file that you do not want to utilize or send that is totally fine in the all pages option as you can see it says 29 pages but i only want to be able to send 25 you could just uncheck these and you could go ahead and customize and type in 1 through 25 so it's only going to check boxes 1 through 25 because that is the only designs that i want to actually download now it's checked on png which is what i love and you want to deliver them with a transparent background so i always give them a transparent background so that way they could put the images on any type of background that they want and then you're going to click download when you click download it's going to download into your downloads folder so now that is downloading you want to make sure that you organize obviously your folders on your computer so i'm going to go ahead and go into my downloads and when i go into my downloads you'll see that this is one of the files here so i already have it actually download so i'm going to refresh but here is the watercolor kids clip art. Obviously it's gonna say copy because I have more than, you know, I've downloaded this before. So when you go in, it'll say watercolor kids tutu clip art. I always name it so you know. And when you see this zipper, that means that the file is zipped. Now we zip the file, so we want to unzip the file. So when I click here, I'm gonna click inside. And as you can see, all the files are in here, one through 25. And then I'm gonna hit this button here that says extract all. When I hit extract, it is going to take out all of these images and they're go it's going to put them into a separate folder to where now you could just utilize them while they're not zipped. So when I click here, you'll be able to see all the designs and now they are unzipped so just look at the difference so when they are in the zip file they're just all zipped into one file when we unzip it it just takes out all the individual images and puts them into a folder just like this unzip so it's just that simple to zip and unzip the files so now that we have the files zipped and unzipped right we we have them unzipped now we want to go over to whatever whatever drive you're using so in this instance i'm using google drive i like to use google drive you can buy space from google drive you can use dropbox whatever the choice is of you is yours so we're going to use google drive and you're going to go ahead and go over to google drive now when you go to google drive what i always like to do is when you click on new i always want to go to new folder and when you go to new folder, you want to name your actual design. So I, like I said, I keep everything the same. So like watercolor, clip art, tutu, you know, you could put kids tutu and you can even put the colors if you want, like pink, you know, pink and green, whatever you want to name it. And then you're going to hit create. Now I already have this created on the computer. So I'm, well, you know what? I'll actually create it again. So we'll create this. So now I have this file created. So it's going to create it. And as you can see, it'll show up in your actual drive. So now that you have this folder created, you could click inside of it and you can see that it's empty. So now what you want to do is go to new and you want to go to file upload and you can really go to folder upload as well. 
so i'll show you both ways so you can go to file upload and when you go to file upload you want to go to that unzip file which in this case is watercolor kids tutu clip art and you're going to go in and you're going to click open now you'll just highlight all the images and you can open these all up or you could upload the folder if you go to new and you go to folder upload you would just hit the folder so now it's going to go ahead and it's going to upload the files inside so because i already have done this i'm it's going to upload just so you can see but i'm going to go back so i can show you what it would look like inside so you can always search at the top for your folder so i'm going to search at the top for the folder that i'm looking for and here's the folder right here so inside this is what it's going to look like when it's inside so you'll see it's going to be 25 you're going to have 25 images uploaded in the folder all of your png files inside of there now I'm going to go back and again, I'm going to search for watercolor because this is going to be an important part and we're just going to pause for right here. Now that you know that they're inside of the folder, that's good. But now we need to get the file ready, right? For delivery. So what we want to do is we want to go to the thank you file. Now I've actually included a thank you file. So you could actually sign up to get it below in the description. And here's what you want to deliver. So I have two options, one that includes uh, Canva Pro Elements, and then also one that does not include Canva Pro Elements for all the people that have a free account. So this template is already made, so you don't have to remake it. You don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> So at the top, you can put your shop name, like if you're using an Etsy or whatever, you, however you're selling your designs, or you could put your, your business name, um, your logo, anything here. You want to put your social media icons. You will link those, which I'll show you how to do that. All you simply do is you would, you, you click on these and you would link them. And I'm going to show you how to link below because we're going to need to link a couple of different things inside of these files once we now that we've downloaded it inside of the google drive so this is what you're going to actually deliver to your customer right so now that you have the file right this is what you're going to deliver to your customer we're going to go back to the design and again we're going to go to watercolor and we're going to search here and we're matter of fact we're going to go to recent so we can see the folder right all right so now here's the recents right so what you want to do is you see the folder here it says watercolor tutu clip art you want to go ahead and click on these three dots where it says more options and you want to click share when you go to share this is important you want to make sure that you are giving people anyone with this link and you want to make sure you give them viewer access only you'll give them viewer access and you'll click copy link right so when you click copy link, you'll click done. And now you're going to go back to your actual file here. And you want to be able to link your actual files in here. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to zoom in some. And I always like to link it a couple different places. So I like to link it in multiple spots. So that way, anywhere they click, it's good to go. So I like to link it in this box. So when you go, when you click on the box, you're gonna go down and you're gonna click on link. Now you're gonna paste that link that you just got from Google Drive and you're gonna click done. So now you see that it's linked cause you'll see the Google Drive show up. I always like to link it here as well. So I'm just linking it multiple times because you can never link it too many times. And I do this because you just never know where a person is going to click. So I'm gonna link it here. And now I've linked it everywhere. So I have it here, I have it here, and I also have it here. So it's linked everywhere. Now, if you have an email list or a website, you wanna do the same thing and you would just link it here the same exact way. You would link it here. So you could link anywhere as long as it's an image, you're able to link it, right? So I link it every possible place i can obviously you'll type your website in and you'll do the same thing you'll link it down here 
So this is where you would link your actual images. You also want to add in uh, an image of what they're actually getting. So I'm going to do another video on showing you how to add your listing photos. But you want to be able to add uh, your photos inside of here. So for this sake, we'll just go ahead and just add in a design and we'll just upload it and we'll just add it inside of here, right? So we'll add this inside of the photo and then you want to add change your product name, right? So you want to zoom out and I always change it to whatever the name is. Right, so now you have your name and then obviously you'll size it to make it fit the longer the name and then let's zoom in. And then I always write like a nice description with a nice message, right? So it says, thank you so much for your purchase. You could leave in like the 25. I mean, obviously they'll know cause you'll put it in your description, but I always let them know, right? Thank you, uh, what, what they're actually getting, um, so forth and so on. And obviously they could download it. Now, what you want to do is once you've linked everything inside, you want to go to share. And again, we're going to go to download. So we want to download page two. Well, let's make sure this is page two. This might be page one. We're going to download page one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to download page one. But listen, we're going to download it as a PDF. So I want to download it as a PDF standard. And I'm going to download page one. So now I'm going to click download. And again, it's going to go to a downloads folder on your computer. All right. So this is, this is going to be downloaded and you want to also bring this into your Google drive because you're going to need to get the URL to link it. So we're going to go back to download and we're going to click open and this is going to, this is going to download and we're going to upload this. So it's going to actually upload inside of here. It's going to be a thank you file delivery because this is going to be the actual link that you give them when you link it in your file. So I'm going to show you how to organize this as well as a bonus. So you definitely want to keep watching. Now that you have all your files inside of here, what you want to do is you want to be able to keep your clip art organized. So I've also created this organizer to where you could keep everything in progress so you know what's happening you know what's going on and everything has a link to it so what you want to do is and you can check this out as well in the description you want to go ahead and type in again watercolor kids tutu clip art it's very easy to use i've already done all the hard work for you inside of here obviously you could you know make this smaller if you want to so you can see it in full, but you just really want to know what, what it is that you have. And it's 25, the number of PNGs. And here is where it gets really, really cool because now you have everything organized. Now this is just for you to have for your keep. So it's easy and you're organized. Everything is in the spreadsheet. So if you ever have to you know, find a link or you're missing something, you know, exactly where, where this goes. This does not go to your customer. This is for you to have internally. So when you go inside, you want to get the Canva link. So remember the first thing is, this is how you get the template link. So you want to go to share and you want to go ahead and make sure you click on template link. It's important that you click on template link and you're going to click this copy button because if you don't, you will share your original file. That means anybody that has access can go in and delete your files and you just don't want that to happen. So when you go to clip art, when you get your link, right? So once you go to the share, you get the template link, you're going to go back to the spreadsheet. Now you're going to go inside of here, right? And you're going to click edit link and all you simply are going to do is delete the link that's here and you're going to paste the link and hit apply so now the canva link to your actual original files is here and it's organized now we're going to go to our google drive now we created a folder so we want to go ahead and get the folder so we're going to again we already have the link we already made it to where we could share it 
So now we're going to go in. I'm going to do this again. You go to share. You click copy link. And now we're going to go back. And this is called G Drive PNG link. So you're going to link this here, which I've already done. But I'm going to show you how to do it again. You're going to hit edit link. And again, you're just going to delete this out. And you're going to paste it. And you're going to hit apply. All right. When you hit apply, you're going to see. Now, this could be your website link. This could be your um, Etsy store link, whatever this link is, you want to make sure you link your direct URL inside of this one here. And then you have your PDF deliverables link. So your PDF deliverables link is this file right here. Now we saved it inside of here so we could get the link. So here is the actual link. So again, you're going to go to share, make sure that anyone with the link can see it as a viewer we're going to click copy link and we're going to click done and now we're going to go back and we're just going to edit this link and we're going to put this link inside of here right so then you're going to just put it inside of here and you're going to put apply so now all your links are linked inside of here and this is for you internally so now you have everything organized and then you can have everything inside of here. So these are some of the things that I have file fixing, ongoing, in progress, empty, haven't started creating. So you can always change it. So when it's in progress, I typically put in progress. But once I have every single link and I've double checked everything, I will put file complete. So that way I know it's complete. If anything ever happens or anything like that, you just want to make sure these are just different options that I've set up inside of the file status, because these are some of the things that I've ran into over the years of, you know, utilizing Canva and different things like that. So you'll go ahead and put the file complete. So again, this is the delivery file. Let me zoom out so you can see that your customers will actually receive. So this is what your customers will get when they actually get this in their email. And this is what they'll actually have. And they'll be able to download the files directly from the link. And I'm going to show you how that works in one moment. And they'll also be able to get the latest and greatest resources and everything else. So remember, we had the file as a PDF. So now we could just open this up. And you always want to test your PDF file. And you want to make sure you do this, obviously, before you download it into Google. So we're going to open up this PDF. And we want to make sure that we could click on the links. So the PDF file is going to open up. All right, so now that it's opened up. And here's what the link will look like, right? So this is what the PDF will look like. And here's the link. When you click on this link here, right? And all your other links, it'll open up to your website. You want to test it out. You're going to go ahead and click on this, on this button here. And then it will open up. And this is what the customer will see once they download it. Again, 25 images uploaded inside. So that is what this would look like. And that is how you would click on the button. Again, they would click on this download button here, which is why it says download. And they would click on all these different buttons once you link everything in. And this is what your customers will actually receive. So this is how you do everything, get everything packaged up and delivered to your customers. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and comment. If you like this video, share this out to as many people as you can. And don't forget to grab these templates in the description below.